Okay, so this is the remnants, or here are the remnants of the old belt. Uh, that old belt etched the platter, and I tried to get some steel wool, and it's just it's it's etched it. There's like a little bit of a oh, there's like like some bumps there on it. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit more, but I wanted to at least test it and see what the speed looked like. Now here's the interesting thing, on my PL530, I'm sorry, my PL, my PL50, um, not the 50A, but the 50, when I hit start, it takes it, it takes it a while to get started and get up to speed. So this one is similar. This one though, I just tested it before I started recording and I got up to like 30.9, so obviously running slow. Thrust bearing could very well be the issue with that. Um, but it keeps going up. Now my other one, sometimes, uh, I haven't timed it, but it'll take two two minutes to get up to speed. And I don't understand what would cause that. I, I haven't cleaned the, the pulley shaft there. I hear something rubbing. Let's see, let's see what it does. So it's on 45. It was kind of boring watching this go, but I'm curious as to where it's actually going to stop speed-wise. Look at the wow and flutter. It's crazy. Oh, and now it's just going to keep going. Huh, well, I can reset it. Tap to reset. Boom. And it's just off to the races. All right. Okay, so some work to do on this. I'm going to, um, oh, I did want to test that arm. I had the head shell somewhere. I just want to see what other stuff I may have to work on while I have this flipped over. This is not the original head shell. This is just a Pioneer that I have, and I don't really care about. I just don't want it to be floating. All right, let's see. So theoretically, if I were to play a record, it starts. Oh, you know what? I never fixed the light on my on my 50. Whoops, you aren't even seeing what I'm doing. I never replaced the bulb or the lamp on my 50 that I have. That should be, that's lit up on this one, it's not lit up on my other one. So, down play. Okay, it's dropping. And then, end of the record. Okay. Close, close. Tone arm elevator needs to be adjusted. Let me just pull this up real quick. I know this is nowhere near where it's supposed to be, but... Okay, it's dropping. And then goes to the end. Okay. So some other stuff to sort out on this. So let me show you what I was talking about. See that, see how it's etched right there? And it's smooth-ish. It's still raised in some spots. Um, so I'm going to try to work on that a little bit more. I do need to clean. I do need to clean this spindle shaft here. There's gunk stuck to it. And then uh, I'm going to pick this up. After I work on this a little bit, I'm going to pick this up and it'll be flipped over. And we'll be, uh, no, no, actually, maybe I'll do the, maybe I'll do the, uh, that thrust bearing next. We'll pull that off and do that next. So anyway, that's what I'll, uh, I'll come back and uh, kind of explain to you where we're at. All right, well, I just learned that the PL50A does not take the same thrust bearing that the PL50 does. So there's the old thrust bearing. 
and it is destroyed. So you can actually make one of these. You can try to fabricate one. I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and order one. I'll save this other thrust bearing for... I'm sure I'll get another PL. 30 or 50 cross my path again, so I'll hold on to that one. Uh, the problem with this uh, spindle was there was a, the, the belt was melted on this as well. I actually had to take a razor blade and scrape it off. So. Now if I were to put this in there now, this is going to sit down too far. So, you know, maybe I will try to figure something out for that. I've heard of a couple of things that you can do to fabricate one of these. Let me see if I can find something this close. Okay, back to the PL50A. Got a more period appropriate car, uh, head shell for it. Put a cartridge on it already. Sure, M95ED. And I think last time we were getting, I think it needs to be cleaned up. Speed around 29 and a half, something like that. So, got a thrust bearing for this. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. See how our speed improves. I haven't done anything to the motor on this. I may have to. I've uh, been doing more research on the PL 50s and it seems that coming up to speed is kind of a common issue with these older turntables. So this takes the other PL50 takes about a minute to come up to full speed. And uh, this one seems to be doing the same thing. So All right, I'm going to clean out the remnants of that old thrust bearing and uh, clean this up a little bit and then pop the new one in. From Pat's Audio, this comes with a little gasket to go around the shaft there. So be kind of boring to watch me clean this up, so I'll come back after I've got it all cleaned and reassembled and ready to test. All right, back to the Pioneer PL50A. And I wrote myself some notes. Anti-skate and feet. It's been like two weeks, so here's the crazy thing. I ordered a belt for this one and a belt for the PL50. And they made it all the way to Omaha, which I'm south of Omaha, and then were shipped to Colorado. So these have been bouncing around for almost two weeks. But what I am hoping to do today is get back into this PL50A and sort out... I should probably do that nicer. I want to sort out the speed because I think we were close, but I didn't have a new belt. And I thought I'd ordered a new belt for the PL50 that I was working on, but I, I didn't. So it's using just some random belt that I found on the ground. So this one is as well. So I want to see what is going on with the speed on this one. I had to take a break from another project that's kind of driving me a little... A little crazy. All right, so that's old belt. Here's new thinner belt. And I think we were pretty close on this one, if I remember correctly. But again, it's been it's been a minute. So I'm gonna have to grab my phone from across the room here. And see what the speed on this thing is doing. Okay, let's see how the speed is on this thing now. So let's do on. I still have to 
go underneath and reattach this. It's pretty herky jerky, huh? Gosh, it ran better with the other belt on it. Yeah. Just like the other one now, 33.32 is good, but I don't know why it takes it so long to get up to speed. Um, I'll have to kind of figure that out. That, I mean, that speed's good. What I, I just don't understand why. And then why is it shutting off? Up on, down play, so it goes across, the thing has just lost its mind in the, in the week that I have not worked on it, because now it's not, okay, so there it picks up, and I just need to adjust this. What's up with you, turntable? Jeez. All right. So that's too high. I know this isn't very interesting to watch, but I just want to get this sorted out. Oh my lord. Okay, now that's up and on. Very hard to do this when you've got everything moving. All right. I think that's good. That's a good height right there. All right. Yeah, see that? And the anti skate doesn't, it's like it's not attached to anything, so I'm thinking something underneath is kind of weird. So, anyway, I put this down, and it goes to the table. Goes to the end of the record, picks it up, and there we go. So let's see if that speed's gotten any better. Okay, so. Love it when my phone rings when I'm filming. 